We're pleased to announce that the National Oceanography Centre will be opening a glider service centre. This will enable customers to send in Teledyne Slocum gliders for servicing, maintenance and calibration. We'll initially be focusing on Slocum glider science bays. NOC has been operating the National Marine Equipment Pool glider fleet for over a decade. This involves servicing and repairing a fleet of roughly 35 gliders, as well as designing and building our own AUVs. We have an experienced team who can offer engineering, piloting, operational and logistical support. Um, we're also fortunate to have all the infrastructure required for a glider service centre. So we have a fully accredited calibration lab, we have helium leak and pressure testing facilities, and we also have a large saltwater ballasting tank. The creation of the glider service centre is a natural way for NOC to further improve its links with scientific and commercial colleagues within the UK and European glider communities. Working closely with glider manufacturers such as Teledyne and experts from the UK and Europe will enable us to stay at the sharp end of glider technology, enhance our capability and should be able to provide an even better uh, level of support for UK glider users. The Glider Service Centre will be open to scientific and commercial customers. Initially we'll be focusing on the servicing and calibration of science bays. Hopefully having an extra supplier for science bay calibrations will mean that users are able to get their gliders ready to go in the water at the right time of year. For example, Northern Hemisphere studying the spring bloom. The benefit of having a Slocum service centre here at NOC is um, a great benefit for the greater glider community and especially the European glider community. With the service centre here at NOC, it should expedite the return times to increase the operational capability of the fleets here in um, Europe and technically the fleets throughout the world. By having a center of excellence here in Europe that puts less strain on the other locations and takes some of the burden off those locations so that the entire glider community benefits.